So the Reforma Triennale is an international exhibition of contemporary art. So it brings a lot of out-of-the-box thinking into the museum. It brings experimentation to the museum. It brings us challenges to the museum. So it brings the museum a new way of looking at itself. So our city has many events. It has events uh, for music, it has events for performing arts, it has events for photography. And our museum is involved in different ways with all of those initiatives. For example, we provide space for performances, we provide photography exhibitions during the photography festival, we provide venues for concerts during the music festival. So we're very collaborative with the city initiatives. So our educational, our educational program is as such that we have programs for children, we have programs for schools, we have programs for adults, we have programs for disabled people. So we have programs for all walks of life. And what is actually quite nice is that when children come to a museum for the first time, some of them turn out to be contemporary artists by the time they come out of school. Or sometimes we have children coming through the doors for the first time seeing the Triennale in the museum and they get interested and start coming to the museums regularly or they come through school visits and they come to the adults um, education programs. So what is wonderful about our museum is that we bring uh, different types of education to all different types of people in the community and the, there's different ways of accessing our museum through our education program. Okay, I think one of our most successful ones come during the festival, which is the Yokama Triennale, because it is a contemporary art um, exhibition, but not only about contemporary art, but because it brings different kinds of practices into the festival. So for example, maybe not the most successful, but the most interesting example has been that we brought um, day laborers, communities, soup kitchen into the front of the museum, and it was not us, um, serving food to the day laborers, but the day laborers were serving us, the visitors and the curators and the officers in the museum. So it was a reverse kind of ways of where they would be serving us instead of us serving them in a voluntary way. And that was a very interesting initiative in a way that we brought ways of engaging with people we, we, who usually do not come to the museum and they played a role in the different ways that they would not usually play.